Uh, I'm Didier Miraton, and uh, I'm one of the three uh, managing partners from Michelin. Since the number of vehicles on Earth is bound to double up in the 30 next years, and you will not, I mean, prevent people in India, in Russia, in, in, in Vietnam, in, in China, in Brazil, to have the freedom to run. The, I mean, mobility is part of the human uh, development. So I'd given the, the direction that at the same time that the number of vehicles on Earth would double up, we need to divide by two the tire rolling resistance, which, like I said before, is a very substantial part of the uh, overall uh, vehicle fuel consumption, such that we don't generate any single additional gram of CO2, mm -hmm. lighten the, the weight of the tires, or expand the longevity of the tires substantially, such that we don't use a single additional gram of raw material, reduce the noise by 2 or 3 dB, at least, to divide the noise by 2, because urban CT noise is a subject, and reduce substantial braking distances such that we contribute visibly to the reduction of fatalities on the road and, and help the safe mobility. So I, I think, and, and this industry is just Michelin because I have to orient it Michelin, but this industry has the answers for this new mobility. And it will deploy, I'm sure, in all the world, Russia, ASEAN, China, Brazil. Because what's very interesting in challenge, Benema, and I don't know how many of you have been following the challenge over time, but since 1988, 1998, I'm sorry, the maturity of the solution has improved quite substantially. On a 12-year span, 1998 up till 2010, an ongoing effort to vision, understand, and hopefully help to orientate the evolution of mobility. Change Bibendum is not a one-shot deal that you do one year as a, as a show. It's a very long-lasting endeavor over years to accompany and help all members of industry, government, researchers, NGO, to work together in a way to, to fashion what the future of mobility will be. If you've seen so much growth, where do you go next? I can see several things. First of all, between 2015 and 20, this solution will be totally industrialized and will be part of the, uh, of the uh, uh, solutions that run the, on the road. And the second thing which is very Im impressive to us is none of the original technology that were present in 1998 have disappeared. So th there will be a variety of solution, of solution adapted to, to the different countries that are very, that are very, uh, very, very impressive. And maybe the third point is that, well, electromobility, I mean, shows up as, as a very serious option now, much more than it used to be 10 years ago.